Have a warm welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com. And today we have the Aaron Robert Burns single malt here on my cask. It's 43% ABV. It's uncolored as all Aaron whiskies are. And it's priced at 29 euros 90 cents here in Central Europe at whiskey.de. This whiskey was bottled in a very young age <laughs> because Robert Burns died at a very young age and he just reached 37 years. He was born 1759 in Alloway, this is in the lowlands in Ayrshire, and died not far away in Dumfries 1796. He was a, hmm, an unlucky person and he was very national and he was, well, was named a Jacobin um, who fought against, verbally, against the crown. And he was, well, bankrupt, I think, several times in his life. And unfortunately, and therefore, we should not be that fond of Robert Burns. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, he, well, took the profession of a tax man in the distilleries. In former times, in those years, uh, each distillery had to have a tax uh, collection person um, in the distillery, in the warehouse itself, so that no whiskey was uh, well delivered without being taxed. And those people were hated by the people because the crown took the money. And so he was, uh, well, he did it because he needed the money. It was a <laughs> bread job, as a lot of uh, yeah, artists have in our days. Yeah, okay, this is uh, what people tell, and he is a very, very, still very, very famous person in Scotland, uh, but he isn't the, well, the most popular uh, Scottish poem. No, this was Walter Scott. And Walter Scott lived, well, from 1780-something up to 1860. And he was not only a poem writer, but a publisher and a critic and a journalist, I think. So he was a lot more, Walter Scott, and he was a lot more famous than Robert Burns. But Robert Burns is still alive when you're visiting a, a Highland dinner when the haggis is brought and the knife is stuck into the haggis, then the ode to the haggis is well cited. And this is a poem by Robert Burns and everybody likes him for that. And yeah, this is it for the person. Ah, the bottle is officially uh, allowed, not allowed, recognized by the Robert Burns World Foundation. I think that's called. Yeah, there are several foundations, World Foundation, Shakespeare has one as well. So uh, Robert Burns and his poems are still living. If this whiskey is as well as Robert Burns was, or a little young, or a little bit of Troubadix, uh, if you know this uh, French <laughs> comic strip, uh, I don't know. We will see very soon. I tasted that whiskey, I think, 10 years ago, 12 years ago. And uh, I've seen that video just a few minutes ago. And this was a completely different whiskey. It has a, a different bottle, has a different appearance, and the tasting notes on the bottle are different to these here. And uh, so I hope that this one now is more mature, is better because Aaron now runs with a higher capacity. They have a better cast selection. So I hope that this whiskey will be yeah, better and helps Robert Burns uh, to be more famous in the future. A little fruity, more or less Highland style. Yeah. So here we go.
first, very first appearance is light. Second is there's more behind. Pears, riper apples, and an, a, well, a set of wood note in it. With resin, a little bit. The old bottling had been completely different. Here there's a vanilla note, there's a caramel note in it. This is matured. Yeah, welcoming smell, 43% ABV, and it has seen some years in cask, probably refill as well. And it's reasonable price, remember that. 30 euros. Cheers. In the taste, less fruity, but more citrus note, little citrus zest, and a upcoming uh, oaky spiciness. Harmonic, wonderful. For such a reasonable priced whiskey, very good. And very soon uh, develops in a very smooth aftertaste, still there but very smooth, not attacking your throat or your tongue or whatever. Or very, yeah, demanding whiskey for more. Yeah, this is always uh, dangerous if you have a very sipping whiskey. Mm -hmm. This whiskey lacks the maturity and the extreme casts from other Aaron bottlings, but it shows the clear, fresh, fruity character of the raw whiskey, the distillery character of Aaron, and shows that there are, well, refilled casks which deliver more spiciness in contrast uh, to the vanilla and caramel. Those are still there, those aromas, but uh, the spiciness of the oak is more intense than the vanilla and caramel creaminess, which typically are delivered by fresh casks. So here, refill casks are present. Yeah, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come. <music>